right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna do this while I'm out in the middle of the lake, not catching any fish right now. Um, you guys wanted me to do a walk around. Everybody said they like this new, uh, the new beast so far. Um, those of you guys that haven't been paying attention and haven't watched any of my videos, make sure your bell is on so you're all you're getting all your notifications. Uh, if you're subscribed, if you're not subscribed and you like this kind of content, hit the subscribe button right now, and then go ahead and hit that like button if you like. Uh, if you like really cool snowmobiles like I do. Um, for those of you guys that do know, uh, this snowmobile was picked up by my sponsor and I have one season to prove that I deserve to have this thing. And uh, yeah, basically the long story short, if I don't get enough uh, views and if I don't get enough subscribers, whatnot, I don't get to keep it. That's It's as simple as that. It's too far it's far too expensive for me to own and uh kind of had a deal where if i can get the content and the, the subscribers all that fun stuff then i get to keep it but those of you guys that are new here this is my 2023 scandic skidoo uh, one of the things that some of you guys mentioned before and somebody mentioned was they wanted to see how i had the the auger on here um those of you guys that know okay so i don't work with any of these companies just so you guys understand uh if i do you guys will usually know but uh the main bracket mount on here is uh a jaws of ice is the the ice ink or it's like the auger rack they make a couple different kinds um but this one is just a bar that you u-bolt two things and then uh i actually know somebody that was nice enough to help me fabricate a little t-mount type thing um i wanted something that i could take on and off in case i want to go ride this thing uh, along the trails and stuff like that i don't necessarily want this up there uh <laughs> this getting caught on some trees or something like that um but basically it's just a little box with some uh some overhangs on either side right now i just have this hanging on there um and then it's just you bolted to the grab bar up front um, and I have this clamped down hard enough that I can actually grab this and pick up the front of my snowmobile with it So that was the whole point I wanted with it is one removable so that it's not a permanent thing and two <clears throat> I wanted it really solid um, One of the things you guys might notice is Those are some very large skis. So the the cool thing is is this is a 600 EFI um Scandic and the thing was is I believe they all come this way, but I think I Think there's a wider one, but those skis are I believe they're seven and a half or eight inches wide They're a really wide ski um, That's one of the biggest reasons I got this you guys can see this has the telescopic Suspension so like if I show you guys front here You can see how it's got a really clean belly pan um the big thing when you get like a snowmobile for ice fishing and stuff like that is you're going to tend to drive through like sticks, trees, heaves, all the fun stuff. And I have broken A-arms on snowmobiles before. Uh, it's not a very hard thing to do. They're very flimsy. And if you catch one on a branch or a tree or I've been ditch banging and ended up caught a, I caught a pole one time, they just rip right off. So with, I'm hoping with the way these telescopic skis are on here, or the suspension, is it keeps everything a lot cleaner. Um, another thing that I got this one with is this right here is not standard. So this is your standard bar right here. This is an extra heavy duty brush bar. It goes all the way back to your foot pegs or foot area. So this is bolted on and around here. Obviously you guys know what that's for. <laughs> so that's like for bouncing off of trees and stuff like that. Um, What's what else is not standard? So this one came with a riser. I forgot how big this is. It's like a five inch riser. Um, it had a, sh so this is the, I forgot to mention, this is the Scandic Skidoo Sport, um, technically. So it's not the big, bad uh, workhorse one with like the high, low, all that stuff. This is the sporty one. And I wanted that so if I'm not ice fishing, I can kind of go screw around on it. But something that came with was, a really short windshield so this is like the medium high they have an ultra high that's like up here 
I wanted this one just so I could fit it in and out of stuff, um, like trailers and whatnot. Uh, the top one kind of gets in the way sometimes. But, so it's got the higher windshield on this one. Uh, what else is up front? Oh, something I did that I can't believe they don't do standard <laughs> anymore. So, backup pull start. It doesn't it doesn't come with that so just so you guys know if you plan on getting one you have to add that so I got that done because I've been stranded too many times with bad batteries and whatnot and uh, this is a interesting starting system and I forgot what motors in it but uh, it's supposed to start it real easy every time but I'd rather have a pull start attached to it also so backup pull start um, I have the jump seat, so this doesn't come with the jump seat. It comes with this little box on here, which is where your battery is and stuff. But uh, as far as this passenger seat, that doesn't, it didn't come with that. Um, they have like a simple one without a backrest and no handles. Um, but I do have a girlfriend and she does like to ride. And then on top of that, if, I, if I'm going out fishing with anybody, I wanted to be able to bring them with me. Um, you know, so we can just go run one sled instead of having to take a bunch of sleds if, if we're going somewhere like long and we're just going to take my vehicle versus theirs or whatever. Uh, also, I like to be able to pick people up when I'm on the, the road. So something, I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this. It's not anything to do with the ski, but so on the back of my Otter, I have an eye bolt and a carabiner. It's always on there. Um, so like if I'm out running around a big thing I I've always tried to do is because people have helped me out in the past so I try to help people if I see you walking a long ways and I know you put in the work that day I'll you know I have a jump seat and then I have that so I can hook your sled up to the back of mine throw you on the jump seat and take you in so I'm trying to help out as many people as possible with this kind of stuff if I have the ability to have a nice sled I'm going to make sure that I help people with it. Um, oh, another thing that I added was this is a heavy duty. Uh, I forgot how they call it. It's a luggage rack, but it's not because it's not like the actual luggage rack. Um, but that's a heavy duty one. I forgot which one it is specifically from ski -Doo, but I wanted to put that on there so I could strap down stuff. Um, I'm going to make something for this if I do end up keeping this thing. If I get to keep this for next season, you guys will see a lot of upgrades too because I'm going to try and make it so that this is a standalone unit, kind of like a boat. Um, I want my fish finder, auger, rods, tackle all on this so that I don't have to bring that along. Um, but so, yeah, that's I put that on there. Uh, one of the cool things I like about the skew is they have this link system and that's what i'm talking about next year you'll get you guys will see it if if i keep it if i get to keep it then we'll go and make a custom rack and i want some of your suggestions down below uh but i have kind of an idea so link the link system they make a rack that's just a metal grate type thing and i think what i'm going to do is buy that put that on there measure it out and make it so that i can make a removable because the link system is like a quick quick detach system um and it makes it so you can just pop it on and off real easy uh another thing i did was because i'm ice fishing and there's not always a ton of snow uh in southern wisconsin i got this so that i can rip around deep snow but because I fish mid, like mid-state a lot and then southern Wisconsin, I wanted to make sure that if there was barely any snow out there, I put ice scratchers on it. So these are the, the ski ones, the tunnel scratchers. They go, they go down, dig into the ice, and then when you're not using them, they have these neat little hangers. So that was kind of cool. I, I got excited when I got those. Um, so I run those anytime there's you know only like an inch inch to two inches of snow or if there's a lot of sporadic drifting um, just to keep your track lubricated and keeping this thing from overheating uh, what's another thing with this oh so I got the ski trailer hitch uh, that actually just pops off just like a regular truck hitch it's got a pin and then uh, one more thing that I had them do 
directly from the factory and I got really lucky because there was two two of these um, same units and one of them didn't have a lot of this stuff on it and then it just had this so this has I think I think it's the ice ripper track so if you guys can see that it's got these little carbide studs on it built right into the track um, also I believe because it doesn't say on these ones but I believe the standard Scandic track is 20 inches wide so it's a it's a wide track wide ski uh, ice ripper track it, it, it's a snowmobile beast of a machine I mean comment below I think the beast is fitting for something like this um, I'm very very lucky that I get to drive this this season and I'm hoping I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I get to keep it <laughs> so one big thing you guys have to do if I'm if I'm gonna be able to run this next year is I have to have you guys watching videos all summer long I know a lot of you guys uh, get busy do other things during this uh, open water season and whatnot but I do put out videos every I put three to four videos out a week for like three years there so I, I hit 500 videos in three years and the big thing in here is I'm trying to make it so that you guys can keep up with the content uh, get things you want Remember, feel free to comment below anytime you think of like something that you guys want to see or like have me talk about while I'm out. Um, anything that comes to mind, because I can't always think of everything. Uh, I try to cover all my bases, but like I said before many times, this is kind of instinctual when I'm out fishing and like working on things. I've been doing this for so long that it just comes second nature, but I know some of you guys want to learn and I'm trying to help most of you guys, like I said. So that's the beast. Uh, I don't know what do you guys think about it uh, some people asked me why I went with like a 600 EFI and not a fan cool and stuff like that so I have a three-wheeler and I don't need something fan cooled uh, for running around when there's no snow on the ice when there is snow on the ice I wanted something that could go through any snow so this should in theory which I hope to test it out here shortly within a week here because we just got a bunch of snow up north uh it just depends on where i can stay and if i have enough money to um kind of running around broke right now but uh there's like a foot and a half of snow and i'm gonna go take this and really put it to the test up that way soon and uh yeah i don't know like i said comment below what do you guys think of the thing and then uh if there's anything that i didn't cover that i can't think of right now i'll i'll comment below or i'll you know i'll mention it in a different video but you guys just wanted to walk through and uh yeah so far she's treat me nice there's just enough snow out here today uh to get a you know get running around on in fact i gotta go move here but i figured i'd show you guys the the beast before i get uh get preoccupied looking for fish again so wish me luck and uh i'll see you guys next time